I don't even have Tinkering 1 yet, but it'll be worth it. And I think now we have to go try and save our goat friend. Oh, hey, here we go. Implant, giant hands. If I were, if I were a non-mutated human, I could get giant hands. Alas. Instead, I'm just gonna trade them for my silver nugget. But think of the hands that could have been. I don't think those medical lockers are supposed to be, like, free-for-all. But I'll take them as long as they are. Okay. Goat rescue mission. I'm sorry, engraved teal sword shard? Grave steel swatch rod. Also, goat. Also, I'm inspired, but not hungry. I think this is. Oh, Dromad Caravan. Hi. You're not my goat, though. There you are, friend. Friend, I've missed you. Why can't I pet the goat? Oh, it's nice to see you anyway, Homak. Homak is covered in blood. A true warrior. Ooh, compass bracelet. Hmm, let's see, you don't have hands. You're wearing plate mail. Oh, you've got a, a, oh no, you've got, you've got the gill. Oh. Oh, that's not good. I think there's only one thing to do. And that is, Oh no, not that! What the heck is it? I've contracted Glot Rot. Oh. We're just a couple of very diseased friends. Um, so Glot Rot's kind of bad, but it's it's not Fickle Gill. And Fickle Gill is a fungal infection that there's a random chance when you get hit, you will release a cloud of spores damaging everything, everything in the radius. And possibly also infecting that with more of the lovely, lovely fickle gill. And it just spreads and spreads and makes everyone hate you. <laughs> Time to find some essential oils. And I don't think I can... I don't think I can give Homak here the, the fungal cure, so I have to... I'm gonna have to leave Homak behind. Homak goat lady. Um... So to do that, I'm just going to proselytize this worm. And now now we're still friends. Homak and I, we're still we're still tight, but she's not going to follow me around. Don't don't you hurt my goat. Oh no. There's the fickle gill. Oh, how fickle it is. No, I will protect you. You gassy, gassy goat. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't want... I already have Glot Rot. I don't need any more diseases. So now, our companion is retired. Just living their life. Are you mad at me? Why is... Why is Homek mad at me? Okay, I need to get out of here. Oh, because Glottis is ton, yes. Makes a lot of sense. So your tongue rots. Rots right out of your head, and then people are like, why do you why do you sound like And they don't want to give you good prices on their goods. They'll give you bad prices on their bads. Oh, glottis is such a good word. I love it. A little bit of glottis, a little bit of glottat. What kind of meal can I cook myself? Let's see if I can get something nice with void or gland paste. That's not really nice. Princess Isabel's kugel on top of blink porridge. That's a bad recipe. I don't want it. Let's cook a good recipe. And then I won't have that effect anymore. Now... Now I'm kind of just turned free on the world. Watch out, world. Yeah, so my tongue is going to keep bleeding and rotting slowly, and eventually it'll fall out, at which point I can actually work on curing this disease. It is, Jozo, it is my punishment for going into the cloaca. I don't want this saw hander to start chopping off my limbs. I don't, I don't think I can convince it to join me. So I'm just going to build a wall and leave. Hmm. Oh, another, another one. Uh-oh. Got one dram of sap, that's good. It's a good start. I should make my way to somewhere where the wine and cider flow. There's some forgotten ruins in the... What do you call these? Flower fields? Yeah. Here's the exploding flower. You sure do want to explode, don't you? Skunk just went off. Oh, it destroyed the folding chair. How dare. So I'm going where the water tastes like wine. 
gonna jump in the water, stay drunk all the time. Whoa, Nomad's Potent Feed. You gain either permanent plus one to a random attribute or one mutation point. Wow, that was just sitting on a table. That is one potent nomad. So now, on one hand, I kind of want to use it right away. On the other hand, I might find a metamorphic polygel and be able to duplicate it, and... Ooh, that's pretty enticing too, so I'm gonna hold on to it and hope that nothing bad happens. And then one day, I'll be ha I'll be able to have a potent feed. Feel real good about myself. That was a hot pig. Not as dangerous as the bullet pig. Note and pomad. You said it, babe. And I'll say it again. Note and pomad. Hot pig. Yeah, while I'm wandering around, it is uh, kind of a sub goal. Might as well auto collect sap. Sub goal to try and become friendly with reptiles. Your tongue has rotted away. Finally. Now we can deal with actually curing this disease. I just want to head to the stilt. There's usually wine there. Oh, welcome to the chat room, Joanna. Thank you, Twitch. Thank you for letting me in my chat room. It's a statue of Dagon. Dagon the Orator domineers the West Apse with his brazen popes. His golden con coronet shines splendidly, and the fires shine. And the Shire's fine. Mm. I'm hoping I'll just run across some, some random vases with wine in them somewhere in here. It saved me a bit of trading. There are hostiles nearby. <sighs> Twitch's big brother? I sure hope not. Okay, who's got the gun? Oh, it's a rifle turret tanker. Turret. Rifle. Turret. Trifle of a rifle turret. I want to get rid of you. I'm fine with a few rifle turrets. It actually got me a decent amount of ammo there. Up to 1,000 lead slugs. I'm basically set.
Hmm, bullet pig. Get over here. Gemma, Gemma, I love you. <laughs> I have the inspiration for a mouth-watering meal, but no tongue with which to taste it. Oh, the humanity. Wait, baby? What? Baby chickens? Why are we sexing baby chickens? And I mean that in the sense of, like, determining sex, not... Don't... Don't put bad words in my mouth. But why are we doing that again? Is it pull it? Ooh, money. <gasps> I think that vase has some wine in it. Vase vase. Yes, collect the wine. I don't own it, but I'm going to take it. Magnetized boots. Cool. We now have two parts of the cure. Let's auto collect wine as well. Now I just need some cider. Makes everything taste nice. Actually, that's weird. Um, <laughs> that's kind of weird, because the concoction we're making is the Flaming Ick. And when you drink the Ick, it always says, oh, that's, like, that is the most disgusting thing ever. But our Ick is going to be sap, wine, and cider, and that sounds just like a pleasant evening to me. Do I want to collect molten wax? I kind of want to collect some molten wax. Whoops. Windows key. I've collected the molten wax. You know what? Maybe... Maybe once the glot rod is all said and done, we should go to one of my fun pastimes in this game, which is collecting and mixing every liquid possible into one and seeing just how many adjectives just how many we can stack because it gets pretty wild y'all especially when you get gel in there and everything turns unctuous unctuous THC, technically not sap. What's that? Is that just bones? It's just bones. Perfect. Perfect bones. Flawless bones. The most beautiful bones you've ever seen. Look at these. This rifle turret's just having a heyday here. Trying to shoot that salamander. No. Give me your bullets. Or is it unctuous? It might be unctuous. It's like, it's like a kind of slimy. A very specific slimy. Mmm, I want to befriend this. 
thing at some point. So I'm just gonna run away. I'll be back later to be your friend. Unctuous. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I started at. Oh, hey, well, if we're talking about collecting liquids, here's some putrescence. Mmm, vomit. It's basically bile. Now we have bile. Lucky us. Let's see, it's time to start mixing, I think. So I'm gonna turn off auto collect. Let's pour the molten wax into the putrescence. We now have wax and putrescence. And if we pour a bit of wine We have wax and lush putrescence. If you add a little bit of honey to that. Oops. You get wax and lush honeyed putrescence. I think I think this concoction could use some sap. You have to be careful not to empty it at any point, or you're going to lose your whole collection. Wax in lush, honeyed, sugary putrescence. And we are just getting started, friends. I will have the most powerful putrescence in the world at some point. And then maybe I'll make a sludge out of it and die, because it will be the most powerful sludge in the universe. Oh, what's this? Blood? Let's add it to our concoction. For some wax and lush, honeyed, sugary, bloody putrescence. No, friends, the madness will never end. Not until we find lava. At which point, this whole process gets very dangerous. But don't you worry, there are ways to work with lava too. Oh, I can buy a new mutation, let's do it. Temporal fugue? <laughs> oh, oh no. Okay, you gain Temporal Fugue. Now we're gonna start getting hunted by um, those who would absorb us and our powers into the Collective. And it's great, there's actually a specific... I'm gonna get rid of these magnetized boots. Receive Tinkering Bits. There's a great, what do you call it, death message for uh, when you do get killed by one of the hunters, and it is you are reabsorbed into the mass mind, hunted by those who hunt elves. I have some vague memory of this this anime name, but nothing beyond that. Apparently it's about hunting elves. Oh, hey. Let's see here. Pour it into another container. I think it's time to transfer our concoction here into the canteen. This will allow us to add acid to the mix. Phew!
Yeah, there's a lot of bad anime out there. Never empty this canteen. Wax and lush, honey, sugary, bloody, acidic putrescence. Tinker turret, turret tinker, little stinker, where are you? Uh oh. Oh no. It escaped. A, a key can. Canned beverages turn into girls. Is that better or worse than, like, military aeroplanes turn into girls? <laughs> Canned beverages! So there's, like, Pepsi Lass? And Coke Gal? The Ginger Ale Maiden? What a world. Yeah, yeah, to be fair, they are both terrible. Oh, let's investigate the ruins. Maybe there will be cider. I'm on 13th. And if, if you feel like making the joke, well, what about I'm on 1 through 12? They probably exist somewhere. And there's a chance we will find Avon 1 through 12 at some point. Okay. Oh, I'm getting a little hurt. Oh, that, um... Got a four-corned helm. That's interesting. Am I inspired? Yes. Let's cook a delicious meal. I'm thinking spark tick plasma and dried law petals. Hmm. Well, let's take let's take the boost to intimidate and electrical generation. I now have the power of Zap, and unfortunately the power of Zap isn't that great. Oh, Worm? You cannot proselytize without a tongue! Oh, truly it is the worst disease. You can't make friends if you can't talk, I guess. That's, I don't believe that completely. But I guess if your method of making friends specifically is convincing them via your words. It might cause some difficulty. we could do with water we could add it to our concoction let's add let's add three drams and see if that overpowers the putrescence no nope, it's now waxen lush honeyed sugary bloody acidic dilute brackish putrescence we we are not even halfway to the ultimate liquid. Hmm. Couldn't convince that horse to join me either.
Sense the animus of the vast mind. Someone is near. We've got a hunter. Okay. Well, there you are. Now, they're pretty... They're not super strong to start, but they can have some real nasty tricks. I've got four charges of mental mirror. Oh, no! I'm just gonna temporal fugue. And then... Please fight the right enemy. I want to kill that thing first. Okay, good. Now my clones will just do their thing. And then they disappear. Oh no, the horse is mad at me. The horse is mad. It is not good to anger a horse. Okay. They're not quite as dangerous as horses in um, Dwarf Fortress. Where you'll just you'll just get your head kicked in and you'll die. Cause hoofs. We've got another hunter. Oh, and this hunter has a friend. Okay. Oh shit. That's always scary. Okay. Well, you've expended all your tricks now. I can just wreck you. Here, a snapjaw. Hated by winged mammals. You can start fires too, huh? Oh, it didn't count. My kill as my kill. That was someone else's kill. I got a, a bloody love injector. Slime, yes. Oops, I just collected all the slime. <laughs> I don't need that much. Let's put the slime back. Except for that one little bit. You know, I'm gonna save. Save some slime for cooking. done it. We've arrived at the stilts. I just need to find... Try the wine! No, I need to find the cider, though. Hated by frogs for slaying one of their leaders. Do 
Got some rude boys in the stilt here. I can say let's trade, but otherwise just... What a cookbook name. Searing boy shot the lord. At first I thought that said something else. Ah, oh, chapter unspecified. I want that. I'm gonna get that as soon as I have a tongue again. Oh, a giant wine weep! How fortuitous. Oh, there's magmatic salts. Um, live and drink, drink and combine. Okay, yeah, I will buy your cider. No, wait, I need three drams. Shoot. We can look at the glass bottles and learn things. Oh, that's one dram of cider. Let me check my book. One part sap. Oh, one part cider, three parts wine. Don't you love these drums? Okay. A wine weep. Just unlimited wine. Wine for all. Okay, we need... I have to be careful about this mix. One dram of cider. One dram of sap. Three drams of wine. Now we have our mix, we just need to set it ablaze. There's a few ways to do that. I find the easiest one is just making a campfire. There we go, now it's caught. And we have to drink. Tastes even worse than you had imagined, like a dead turtle boiled in phlegm. It's spicy and delicious. So that's the first part of our cure. Um, let's actually get this. And put it out, and I might have to use this again. Still on fire. Still a little bit on fire. Nope, still, still fiery. Okay. We can use that cure again in the future if we need to. And all that's left is to regrow my tongue. Thankfully I do have an Uber Nostrum injector. You're cured of glot rot. Your tongue regrows. Oh. Well, it still counts, I think. But we did have a, a fizzle. Let's see. Oh, yes. Now I can do all the trading. Put on my skull so I'm a little more intimidating. No, oh, I'm just buy that gel. I'll buy some salt. I'll buy some asphalt too. And green goo, yeah. Oh, convalescence, please. What else have you got for me? Mm, that's all I really want. I'm a little afraid of that magma. Mm. 
gonna hold on to this gel, because it's also good for cures. I can pour a little bit of convalescence into our mix. Add some green goo. And some salt for flavor. Some asphalt to, to help it congeal. And what have we now? Putrid wax and lush honey sugary bloody acidic dilute slimy luminous gooey tarry salt. Oh. Isn't your mouth watering? A rusty? Oh, it's graffiti. Who graffitied the chest? Oh, but Chelsea, I've grown my tongue back now. It's Return of the Tongue. Soul curd. Ah. Uh. I love me some soul curd. Okay, most important thing is that Schrodinger page. That is my first priority here. Th almost 400. Definitely unshelled reptiles. Also got a spray bottle. That'll be useful. On the 30th of Uluut, Princess Isabel became admired by unshelled reptiles for uncovering a plot against them. Now, does that put me in neutral territory? Yes. Oh, good. Oh, so good. Okay. And now have the protection of friendship. Speaking of friends, I'm going to make friends with uh, Lilyheart here. First, I'm going to get some work. We are told to go to Bela and resolve their troubles. We also have two heads. We'll be good friends. Share our water. Share a secret. The location of Bela, which I just learned. And I can share it. Also teach me how to shield. Cool, cool. Oh, you have a blood cell? I need this. Where'd you get a blood cell? Awesome. I 
running out of things to trade with. Okay, I lied. I have tons of things to trade with. I just, I want to hold on to all the valuables. I want to have the forever money. Oh yes. Biodynamic cell, auto-collect blood. And, oh, oh dear. It looks like Hated by the Fellowship of Wardens, so... This isn't gonna last long. Yep. Hey, Wardens, uh, I'm just gonna steal everything that was dropped. Thank you, don't mind me. Just, just pillaging, you know how it goes. Shit. Oh, that's actually a little unfortunate. Laser pistols? But now we can't... We can't trade Sultan Secrets for experience because the Secret Keeper has been murdered by the Warden. Over a petty dispute. Wake up, Apothecary. Oh yeah, we've been seeing a lot of Humble Pie. I haven't really talked about it. So with the addition of the Esper Hunters, there is a reason that you might not want to have like a plus 10 ego bonus. So Humble Pie will actually reduce your ego by one permanently. If you've become a little too powerful and you don't want to handle getting in constant fights for your very uh, mental existence. I'm gonna destroy these bed rolls. No one is allowed to sleep. You must be awake at all times and free to trade with me. Okay, we've got a hunter in the palace here. It's a little concerning. I'm gonna make quick friends before anything bad happens. Hmm. What creature is... <laughs> the librarian is a dream beard. Oh, hey, there you are. It's probably probably gonna be good for me to finish up soon. Okay, I've got a file now. Oh, how am I gonna do this? Okay, I think I know.
Before I get ahead of myself. Put some magmatic salt here. We're going to pour into our file one dram. File is one of the few items or uh, water containers in the game that can safely hold magma, lava, liquid rocks. Gunsmith? Cloaksmith? Bootsmith. Bootsmith, smith me a boot. Nope. I don't have any exciting boots. Ah, the smoking tent. Let's chill out by the hookah for a minute. Hmm. -hmm. Oh yeah, we in the hookah zone now. This is where all the pilgrims hang out. With their wide-brimmed hats and sandals. There's also a coral over here. A few Arconauts. It's just a nice place to chill and maybe make a few friends. Ooh, schematics trader. No, you're not... you don't have very exciting things to trade. Beep. The wine cellar, the leech farmer. <laughs> if you're ever in need of blood, just go to the leech farmer. Yes, I'm completely serious. Soul curd. I gotta get some soul curd and some mirror dust. And a sun-dried banana. Someone graffitied this person's sign. Hmm. I wouldn't mind scoped. I'm not ever gonna get to use jacked. Hmm. I still don't even have a tinkering one, so we'll just hold off. What's the hatter got? Hats. Oh. Oh, worms. Oh, look at all those worms. Idly undulating. Well, it was nice to meet you, too. Oh, what is that? A life sap. Yee. So those those enemies are terrifying because um, they can permanently drain one of your stats. Permanently, you just... Oh, you got hit by, like, a strength sap? Well, you lost strength forever. Thankfully, it's not, it's not hostile, we're just, we just saw it. Just lives here. I've also got a psychic hunter somewhere. Oh, ah, hi. Oh, you've got laser beams. Yeah, you think you're so cool with your laser beams. Uh, please don't kill me. Okay. Wooly sandals. Oh, there's just a hat here. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh, something horrible is about to happen. Mashed lag. I want it. Also want more sun-dried banana. Yep, okay. I don't know. I've reported this bug a few times. Um, you know what? I'm gonna make a save. I'm gonna submit this. Because this bug really bothers me. Uh, let's see here. Is it an app data? App data roaming. Um. <laughs> yes, it definitely bugs me. App data roaming. Who? Who are the developers of Caves of Cud? Um, they, they got a name. I can't think of it. What's the dev team? Uh... Quadmunity. <laughs> I love it? I don't think that's it. Maybe they moved it out of roaming, or maybe it was never in roaming and I've just... Imagine things. Local low? Freehold Games. That's them. Freehold Games. Caves of Cod saves. Add to 7-zip. Okay, I'm gonna pop that on my desktop, and these files might be harmful to your computer. What? It's a zip file. Yes. Oh, Windows. Okay, and now we get to watch the horror as the cat herder... The cat herder... kills all the cats. You're not doing a very good job hurting them. You're hurting them. So there's something weird with the, um, what do you call it? The faction reputation? So the cats will attack the cat herder, who will then kill them all. And, um, yeah, you just end up with a bunch of dead cats. And nobody's happy. Bee vendor. Vend me your bees. I mean, to be fair, like, one in every hundred stilts has a cat herder. So I can see why it might be a low priority bug, but it's upsetting. It's legitimately upsetting to see it happen. Oh, there's something. So you can't cure incubating diseases anymore, but you can prevent the acquisition of new diseases. I'm just going to go for plus three saves. So I don't really need to go back to Golgotha. That's generally where you get the most diseased.
Ah, shoot. Ah, shoot. I forgot. They'll still puff spores at you, even if they're technically friendly. Oh, now the fight begins. Okay, well, let's see what happens. <laughs> the Mechanimist Preacher dies. Well, they managed to kill the mushroom. Oh, a sniper rifle. Cry steel dagger, okay. Well, I got some loot out of that. That'll make a fine companion to my battle axe. Okay, and I don't have any spores on me. Certified spore free. Hmm. What next? I mean, maybe this is a good place to call it for the night. I'm pretty tired, and we've got a lot done. I'm saving those. I should be not disassembling things right now. I want to abuse bananas to learn how to build everything. So I guess um, that's probably going to happen between streams. The chances of this file remaining untouched until next time is pretty low. Because I just can't keep my hands off this game. I love it. I love Caves of Cud. Uh, thank you all for joining me for the stream tonight. Uh, I hope to get back to Bayonetta next time. Just have to try and have a chill day beforehand. Forehand, five hand, six hand. Yeah, I think I'm done with the opacity on my webcam. So until then, everyone, remember to... Drink your honey. Don't get sick. Um, befriend a goat. And... Stop by the hookah tent, I guess. I'll see you there. Take care, everyone. Good night. Mwah.